tell me I'm not dreaming When I open my eyes We will still be standing Here side by side If we could write our names in the stars too Finally, the crowd feels so happy, and it was for the first time that we beat the Americans, so that was a fantastic feeling. You're taking golf to another area. You're creating another sphere of influence that for people who have not seen it and been part of it, yes, they've seen it on television, now they get to go see it live, in person, and it'll just expand the game of golf. Part of the Ryder Cup bid uh, for any venue or any nation was that they had to show there was going to be a legacy, and different countries have done it in different ways, and Scotland will ensure that long after the Ryder Cup's gone, we're not just left with a few black and white photographs in the clubhouse. And now there's going to be a programme that the community says, this is here because the Ryder Cup was here. This is here because the Ryder Cup was in our country. Here is a glorious opportunity for us, not just for 2006, but into the future. To get to this league, you can't get any bigger. You know, to have a, an audience of a billion people, 150 countries, 60 million golfers watching it. An opportunity to see characters that are world famous. This is a unique opportunity to promote a country. To promote it for golf, to promote it for tourism, to promote it for trade and to promote it for inward investment. The spin-off could be huge. But of course we know that the Ryder Cup was a, a great success. Uh, Colin Montgomery summed up the Ryder Cup with the words the world was watching and Wales delivered. Everyone in the country, First Minister, everyone in the country is looking forward enormously to the Ryder Cup, uh, the Ryder Cup coming home to, to, to Scotland and to Glen Eagles.
Tonight